not YouTube. This is Bayou. Okay. Once again, we're making this movie from the back to the front. So, uh, this is the original carburetor in, of my UST uh, 5500 watts, which is a clone of the Honda uh, generator GX. Okay, so like I told you before, my uh, UST 5500 is uh, just about, but not 100% carbon copy of the uh, Honda GX390 and the Honda GX340. Uh, this is when I have to be careful the way I talk to you. So a lot of U.S. companies sell you a conversion kit for over three hundred dollars. Okay. I don't know why some people like to waste money. Uh, you go to eBay and you find the dual fuel carburetor conversion for Honda GX three ninety and GX three forty. A generator for uh, LPG and AG with auto choke. This one has an auto choke right here. This is the auto choke. Okay, and this is, you see, the auto choke goes in the back and the manual choke goes in the front. Okay, uh, my brother said you can see it, but take my word. Uh, the one back here is controlled by the governor. There is a long wire with a spring. The spring goes right here and the governor goes right here, which is kind of, you have to twist and bend it, but very careful. And right here is the front, which is also a, <laughs> a BH to deal with it. But uh, keep in mind that the governor runs the back and you will have a search. I see these people dealing with a, 100% Honda, uh, not a clone, but a real Honda, and has the same problem because it's the governor that pulls over here. Mm, 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 mm. You seen the video when I'm talking about how I messing with the governor uh, uh, arm, and the little minor choke is, will stabilize the uh, the RPMs on the uh, generator. It's normal, okay. This this the, the design is like that because of the governor. Now there are some videos that tell you how to deal with governor, but hey, that's mechanic six hundred one and not mechanic ninety six. <laughs> I'm not even a mechanic, but I play mechanic. And uh, uh, again, dual fuel carburetor conversion for Honda GX three ninety, uh, GX three forty works perfectly which allow you to uh, use LPG, normal barbecue uh, bottles, and the natural gas, okay, uh, from your house. Now, uh, $37.99, and uh, with uh, taxes and everything else is $41.12. Unlike the, the, the one they sell you here, the U.S. company, for $300. And then you go back and say, well, this is China, much product. Yeah, <clears throat> yes, you're right. Are you talking about $300 plus tax? That is my money, not the government money, not the Chinese government money. So in cases like this, you worry about your pocket. You don't worry about your government. Your government can make money. They can print for free, okay? Like they're doing now. Uh, now, the oil. Once you convert it to a <coughs> LPG or no, no. Uh, NG, you have to change your oil. Some people say every 24 hours. I don't know it's 24 hours, but I will check. I will check the color of the oil and make sure that it doesn't get real dark or burn. Now, uh, I know I told you that I spent 13 years in the Army, and the easiest way to know when a transmission or an engine, uh, those comments are going to go bad, you take the oil and you smell it. Yeah, yeah, almost like a dog, yeah. You smell, if it smells like it's burned, you know when you, your wife or your significant other burning oil in the kitchen, that particular smell, immediately stop. Whatever you're running, the vehicle, the engine, motor, the generator, change the oil because you have this close to uh, uh, burn the engine. And if you change the oil, uh, make sure that if you're running with fuel, I was lucky, this carburetor is perfectly okay. When I was actually the generator was on there, I never ran it more than an hour continuously. So as you can see, it's spotless, clean. But this will not deal with uh, gas. 
Okay, he's part of the governor uh, uh, staff, uh, electricity that controls the staff. Uh, so the manual ones are are okay too. You can you can uh, um, convert with no problem, but this is a little bit difficult because it's electronic. This this mumbo jumbo stuff. Uh, again, if you have a UST 5500 or any copy of the GX390 or GX34, just look at the picture. And G, uh, UST 5500, it is the GX390 or the GX340. The same carburetor kit works. Okay, guys, show and sweet. Oh, uh, be careful taking the gasket because you see this this one gasket, it does it is not match completely, so you have to use the old ones. Uh, I think you have to use one of the old ones and two of the new ones. This is a replacement, it doesn't match. Other than that, it's, it's perfect. I mean, great to difficult for one to ten, non mechanic. I would say probably seven. If you are inclined to mechanic, it's probably it's none at all, maybe a four or three. Uh, just be careful, take your time. Uh, be careful with the hoses, don't jerk anything, always wiggle, 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 wiggle. Don't use brute force. Stuff like this, do not use brute force. Okay, short and sweet guy. Uh, sorry for the people in Colorado and uh, the area, Midwest. I know they got a severe blizzard. You gotta be ready, guys. You gotta be ready. Talk to you later and behave. Thank you, uh, producer. YouTube. Uh, I just finished replacing the original carburetor on uh oh well, my cat fools it all the place. A 5500 watt generator made by the UST uh, because I wanted to have a, a dual carburetor but actually this carburetor is is dry, dry fuel. The uh, RP uh, liquid propeller gas, propane, natural gas, and gasoline. And like I said before, this is the old one. Now, uh, this is the uh, Chinese made uh, with taxes. It cost me around uh, $40, $40 and a few pennies. If you buy the doctors over here, they want you. Uh, they now see you over $300. It's one place that they want $450. That's, that's too much, guys. Um, later on, I will tell you this, this type. They're all Chinese, uh, uh, they're not copies, but they are uh, look-alike. Uh, come from the Honda generators, okay? Everything Chinese made is come from the Honda generators look-alike. So uh, I got the model and, and my order I'm gonna go ahead and do, uh, we're doing the tapes from the back to the front lately, but hey, if it works, it works. Okay, let me go ahead and see if it starts again. The master switch home, open the fuel. Oh, you prime it right here. Okay, and then. all the way up, prime it some more. Uh, last time that I used this generator, it was a couple of days ago. Uh, when we had the problem in Texas. Uh, I, and I don't remember if uh, I ran it all the way dry. Uh, generators needs to be completely out of fuel, completely out of fuel when you're going to storage for a long time. Uh, the so-called beautiful U.S. engineers that designed that stupid corn fuel What's the name, uh, producer? The stuff that they add to the gas. It's nothing more like ethanol, which is corn. If you leave the ethanol on the carburetor, one of these, and you open 
the bottom part you see that it's nothing but a, a yellow coat that blocks everything just jets and then they make a big nasty thing that it's very difficult to clean it so if you have a cover even if they went for 120 bucks go ahead and make sure you run it dry you see ouch the amount of dust that this one has and i think that's a problem with the uh the automatic choke it goes on and off on and off until it runs out uh, quite a bit of time and the uh, governor i think it is you get adjusted properly which is normal okay especially if you don't use an equipment car old car with carburetors it, it, it does the same thing so that's not a problem once you put the uh, anything to run on like a lamp uh, it adjusts automatically because it's drawing power so uh I just made a mess over here with the cat food, but that's okay. So, uh, again, uh, UST uh, 55 watts is now ready to run. Well, it is running on uh, propane. You can put the uh, the gas from the pipes, or uh, you can leave it in gas. Uh, now, the only issue with with the LPG is you have to change the oil at least uh, I think I heard uh, once a day uh, to me that's a little bit too much but uh, maybe you can check it once every two days and then uh, especially if it's real dark if it is real dark then go ahead and do it just to make sure you keep the engine running good two days so I mean each generators are different right but uh, I thought it was gonna be difficult my only issue is the uh, this part right here which is the automatic carburetor if you if you got one of those that is manual forget about it that's easy you don't have to mess with this right here because I have a governor a automatic choke with the governor and that's what you say mm, mm, mm. Uh, if you don't have this this metal right here, then you got the little lever carburetor, it's even better yet. I mean, absolutely better yet. So uh, let me go ahead and then uh, go back to the beginning. Oh, I know I will tell you, uh, 40 bucks and you have a generator, even if it's your old timer, because if you go with Chinese, even though, see, there's no room between the air filter and the handle, or, or the grade cell, or the box cell, the, 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 the tools. This Chinese design is so there's plenty of room on the outside. See, that's what it's called thinking forward. Sometimes I don't know what we're having over here, but they don't, they don't, they don't think, they don't plan good, and we have issue. But uh, it's possible. It's not that difficult. Make sure you don't uh, strip the little nuts. Don't put brute force, and you can do it. Behave, talk to you later.